We are at 529 Sandy Lake Court, Virginia Beach. We'll take a quick glance around the neighborhood. Nice, quiet, sunny uh, afternoon over here. This is uh, one end of the cul-de-sac that you just saw to the left. And off to the right again, uh, you'll see the other uh, end of the cul-de-sac over there. So it's a double-ended cul-de-sac. Um, which is nice, you know, if the kids want to ride their bike and uh, make things a little easier on the parents. I don't have to worry about a lot of uh, traffic coming through here. As you can see, the grass has been extremely well maintained. Very uh, sizable garage. You can fit two cars in there. It's actually really big. We'll take a look inside there in just a few moments. Inside here, as you can see, we got some uh, nice landscaping that's been done. Over there on the right-hand side, you can see just how nice that grasses that uh, the owner has been able to maintain here. Heading inside. Come to a very nice store by the way. Uh, very nice. Uh, and of course this storm door as well. This is a nice entrance way and uh, obviously that leads upstairs. Uh, we'll take a quick glance around the bottom floor first. But you have a very nice chair molding around the edge of the dining room here uh, for additional lighting in the, in the middle. But you can see just how much natural light comes in through this house. Uh, tiled kitchen. We have a uh, new fridge over here. Stainless steel. Have a lot of cabinet space. Quite a bit. Let me look out into the backyard there. So you have your matching microwave and stove there as well and again more cabinet space over here along with the pass through into the living room and we'll uh, we'll take a glance at that in a moment we do have uh, again a breakfast nook area over here and uh, some additional lighting as well a ceiling fan up there really really lovely home though we'll take a quick glance in the backyard A nice size backyard. Uh, patio area, you guys can do a little barbecue over here. Again, some nice landscaping. Completely fenced in around the entire house. As we head back inside, we'll uh, head into the main living area. You guys can see just how nice this fireplace is over here. Absolutely phenomenal. And this is wood burning as well. It's a lovely, lovely fireplace. As we pan across the room here, again, there's that pass through leading into the kitchen. This again, a ceiling fan. Very lovely fixture. A lot of this, uh, you'll see some custom wood uh, fixtures and vanities that they've placed in, as well as a, a brand new HVAC uh, control unit. This is a dimmer over here to control that main one as well. We'll take a look inside this closet here, so you guys can see a little coat closet for when you guys first walk in. That, of course, uh, back to the main area. Down this hall over here leads us to an uh, ample amount of storage space under here. Uh, and that, if you lift that back, there's actually uh, quite a bit of storage space leading uh, under the staircase as well. So. Lots of space to store just about anything, shoes or what have you. So we take a look in here. You can see uh, now a little better with the light on. Uh, obviously these little last minute touch up here, but uh, very spacious. You can see and that of course leads out to the side yard area. But a lot of space in here to really do any project. As you can see that's uh, uh, what they've been working on in here. Head back inside. And another small closet over here for any additional storage you may need. Heading into the first bathroom, as I said, there's a lot of fancy woodwork uh, that we have. So as you guys can see, the mirror uh, and the detail in here as well. Uh, of course, this is a tiled bathroom. Uh, again, just a lot of natural light that comes in 
all throughout this house. So you know, really neat. Uh, makes it very homey and welcoming atmosphere. Heading upstairs as we have the wraparound staircase. This, by the way, as you guys can see, is wired. Uh, in the event you guys uh, want to get the alarm system turned on, you have an additional uh, little place up here to put some pottery or, or some pictures or something of the family. We'll head into this bathroom first. Again, you know, the, the woodworks, it's all matching bathrooms. It's very nice. Brand new vanities and all these. Again, the mirrors looking absolutely immaculate with that wood uh, around them. Amazing looking carpets, as you guys can tell, have been immaculately maintained. This is one of the smallest of the... As we head into the second bedroom here, Again, the carpet's uh, absolutely immaculately maintained, um, looking as though they're brand new. You do have a little linen closet here as well. As we look in here for the uh, utility rooms, can fit uh, any size washer and dryer, so very nice. And uh, little spots to hang the, uh, place the laundry detergents up there as well. Heading back into one of the other bedrooms here. We're in the third bedroom now. Uh, obviously, you have a double closet over there. Again, uh, tons of natural light that comes in, which is just excellent. Uh, makes things uh, very nice. So we head further down the hallway into the master bedroom. My favorite room in this house. You have these amazing ceilings in here with the ceiling fan hanging down there and as we head into the master bathroom which is fit for a, a king or queen or, this is absolutely amazing again this woodwork here and these countertops you have the double sink very nice light fixtures nice place to relax in the tub separate stand up shower with additional lighting up above uh, tiled flooring Bathroom over there, two towel racks, and to top it all off, you have a walk-in closet as well. Uh, this actually leading up to some additional attic storage as well. So absolutely amazing home, and uh, come fill out an application now.